Rightio tubers, got, a, got an iPhone jobby here because this one's meant to be quick. So down here in the power shed, cell 5 has not been returned, re, 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 removed from service yet. I gotta do that, doing other tests and stuff first. But more importantly, we have a new addition to the shed. Now after absolute relentless relentless it's been horrible the amount of conversations I haven't had about doing Bitcoin mining I've decided that I'm gonna try so I run around my shed and I grabbed every second-hand piece of rubbish I could I got an R9 360 or 350 or something video card um, it's pretty average and probably four years old I reckon it runs really really hot I did put a brand new power supply in it just because well I want a new power supply old Intel SSD uh, was that 8 gig of memory or something that DDR2 no actually I think that's DDR3 an i5 no it's i3 processor but it's only gen 1 so that is my Bitcoin mining rig and at the moment I'm using Minegate Minegate 7 and I'm mining XMR and I'm only doing CPU I'm only doing GPU mining at the moment I was doing CPU mining but it's just too hot in this shed so it's been running now for the better part of 24 hours and I've averaged um, about a dollar a day if I should be honest it's pretty crap that's US and I didn't put this on that's only about 30 hours um, so two days so 48 hours I've been running it for but that's only about 30 hours on the on the power so what have we got 10.78 uh, kilowatt hours we've drawn from the from my battery so that's that's all being run up to there so then that runs up into there and obviously that goes into my inverter so that's completely off-grid and it actually uses six kilowatt hours per day just the computer running but that's with the I had the, for the first day I had the video card overclocked to maximum and I was doing CPU mining as well at the same time but I think I'm only doing what five five eighty or four eighty or something there bounces around and the GPU mine the CPU mining it was only like oh you'd be you'd be lucky to get probably thirty hashes per second or whatever it is so there you go i'm going to give this a crack and i'm going to see how this goes i honestly don't know i have done this before but it hasn't been profitable i i genuinely think the amount of extra load so the load is energy um that's maximum so it's about doing 250 260 watts draw and i genuinely think for a dollar a day, I'm making like five cents a day profit if I was buying power from the grid, which obviously I'm not. But I reckon that the load on the batteries at night and the load on the extra load on the inverter, making the inverter run hotter and for longer, or well, constantly longer, it's just not worth it. I don't, I don't even know. But what I'm going to do is I am going to leave this computer down here for one month, 30 days, or something like that and then see how it goes. I'll leave it running 24 hours a day, seven days a week. This is on Windows 10. I may pull it and put Windows 7 on it just to take the resources down even further. Um, I think that might be a good idea and I might get a little bit better hash rate. So I may or may not do that. Let me know below if you think that's a good idea. Um, if you know anywhere better than Minegate to mine coins, 